house together. You did? And how many, what did you, what was the most fun about it? Putting it together. Yeah, why was that? Because it's your own piece of art. The first thing I did, I went and then I started um, blowing the tiles on. Because it's all gooey like later. First, it was little tiny pieces of tile, and we used mud like cement, and we placed it around um, in the mosaic. It's gonna, they're gonna say that it's really nice. Really? Why do you think that? Because it's beautiful. I'll describe it that it's like, um, like something beautiful, like something that Picasso did. <laughs> Musical equipment, keyboards for our students. We had a music program at Cayuga Elementary School, we, which consisted of a teacher in an empty room. So now we actually have something to do with this empty room and the music teacher, and the children have something concrete to produce music with. We used our money to acquire uh, the Doc Gibbs percussion ensemble, and Doc Gibbs comes in with percussionists to work to do 45 minute workshops with the children, so they're learning drumming and African dance. With the entire third grade in small groups, and the children are going to design under her direction a mosaic mural, which will commemorate our school's 100th anniversary. The theme, it's the past, the present, and the future. My project is Annie Jr., and with the funds that I've gotten from um, the Picasso project, I was able to buy the license to perform Annie Jr. at Austin Mean Middle School. Beyond doing um, Annie Jr., we also discussed the issues of homelessness and uh, the Great Depression and the New Deal. And um, it's made it possible. Without these funds, we couldn't have done this project at all. Art is very important, not just because it brings out the creative and it brings, brings somehow uh, a sense of unity in the children. They're always succeeding when they're doing art. The things that I stress at our school is performance and trying to make connections between the arts and what happens in the academic you know, classrooms. When one is involved in the performance and actually in the act of doing and playing, it becomes, it involves the person more. The children then become aware somehow that maybe this all does make sense. You know, the, hit, the music does come from the history and from the people. It's not just out there hanging in space someplace. There is a reason it's part of me, um, and I can be a musician, you know, or I can be an artist, or I can act. The Picasso Project has definitely made it possible um, to actually have this, um, you know, this 
mosaic in the, you know, in our marble hallway to bring in some residents um, to actually help out the students. And the students are excited. You know, this week we have spring break and the students came in to actually work on some of their projects. Our students did a uh, fact-finding mission of who was Frederick Douglass, and each one of them had to, each group had to come in with information about Frederick Douglass. I don't think these middle school age kids have had an outlet uh, for their creativity ever um, before you had come there. They're going to be in a production. There's something to go to go to school for that's fun, and you know they're going to get to show off to their parents what they can do. And um, without the funds from the Picasso project, it just wouldn't be possible. This has brought like a light and a happiness to our school and to our faculty that wasn't there before because they, they, they're able to create. Finally, there is something that we know that concretely, that definitely is not an abstract, but it's making a difference. It's a positive, it's a, a source of light and fun. I'm able to bring to the classroom um, these instruments and these wonderful people um, that the children can work with and actually see all these instruments and touch them and play them. All of this is possible because of this money coming in from this project. So I feel like a winner, they feel like a winner, we all win. I think that being able to come to school every day and see my students take ownership of their art projects around the building, it's, it's amazing. This money has provided uh, more opportunities for the children to perform. And one of the reasons that uh, I stress performance at school is I think it helps the children overcome their fears, whatever they may be. They're making sound, they're making music, they're living it. And that, you can't buy that, 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 I mean, that's, we need more of that. So they're reading poems and they're really focusing on um, the Harlem Renaissance and I think that um, that's really good for them is uh, we wanted to focus on creating the social change. Though you bring your social studies and your writing and your reading, then um, as I said before, there's a pattern, a mathematical pattern in music. So they were able to pick that up and actually illustrate it. We've made a connection with language arts. The children um, are doing storytelling with African instruments. The connections to the curriculum very strong. I think they're going to have to keep a journal and take notes during each alumni's visit. They are beginning to come out of themselves more and support each other more. Um, let me show you how to do this. Or oh, come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. They feel like they're professional actors and actresses. That's really. So uh, they do show extraordinary kindness and consideration to each other. Their classmates are very supportive of their artwork and very supportive of their writing. And um, you know, that's, that's really difficult to come by when you have students who are interested in hearing what the next person is saying. One of my students, he's from Sierra Leone, just came this year. And a lot of things that they write about, him and his brother, it's just really, go, they go into detail what it means. Because we see, they see it differently because of the warfare that's over there than what we, you know, experience. A lot of them are just really excited. Um, some of them never really looked at art as a way, uh, our theme is resistance to the art, so they never looked at art, a lot of them, as a way to be on entertainment. They just looked at it as, like, oh, well, this is, you know, it's fun, it's in it. Now they're kind of looking at it a different way, like, wow, I can, people are listening to me through this. They're using the arts to say, you know what, this is how I feel about this particular issue in society. I've had a, a very uh, positive response from the parents uh, offering to help with certain things. We had a, a full house at our holiday concert. Last year for report card conferencing, we may have had 10 parents. This year we had 250 parents actually come to report card conferencing. And I really think that has to do with a lot of the different programs that we brought in the school and the fact that it's a pleasant place to be. And I think parents feel that. Art and culture are married. I mean, they're in, they are part of each other. They feel proud of their heritage. They feel proud of their friends' heritage. Mm -hmm. They feel proud. They can celebrate their differences and their similarities. It's no longer something to, this is that, this is that. It's a wonderful blend. And projects like the Picasso Project are the ones that help to, to do this. This is another way that they can grow with the music, with the art, so they can take a look inside themselves and see who they are. It was somewhat fun to help me it helped basically all of us learn about the elders that we were working with 
um, because the title was the friendship quilt so it's we use different shapes and different colors for the art it taught me about like when we was at the Johnson house and the what was it called the slaves used quilts to like help each other out like they would use quilt as a mat, like as a mat to help them escape or to get free or whatever so it was like it was real educational and I liked it it changed my outlook of what is considered art instead of just having that one genre of you know what I've what I've been taught as art it opened math into art opened other things you know other different forms of art to me